Recently, I got a message from a viewer that needed help setting the gains on an amplifier, but the only tool they had available was a digital multimeter. Sometimes the best tool for the job is the tool that you have, so I'm going to show you how to set the gains on your amplifier with nothing but a simple, inexpensive digital multimeter. And the adventure starts right now. The first step is to get your hands on an amplifier that's made by a reputable manufacturer, someone that's not going to lie about their power ratings. If you're not sure what brands to look for, you want to jump on the internet, look up some YouTube videos and look for some amplifier dynos. There are a ton of great YouTubers out there that will post these things online so that you can know which amps you ought to be focusing on. Next, get your hands on a multimeter. You don't need to spend a lot of money. This one was less than $40. Spring for an auto ranging digital multimeter. It'll be worth the extra money. If you're really tight on cash, keep an eye out for a Harbor Freight coupon. You can get a free one. Download some test tones. These are easy to find. Kicker has some available on their website as well as many other manufacturers. You can also get them through iTunes or through the Android Play Store. You can also just download an app that can generate these things. There's no need to burn these to a CD since you're probably going to be using Bluetooth to connect to your head unit anyway. Next, you're going to want to calculate your target voltage. Your target voltage is just the square root of your power multiplied times your resistance. This old reliable amplifier here is 500 watts into a 2 ohm load. So you just multiply 500 times 2 and get 1,000. Take the square root of 1,000 and you get 31.63 volts. This one is 75 watts per channel into a 4 ohm load. So 75 times 4 is 300. The square root of 300 is 17.32 volts. Now if I bridge the rear channels of this amplifier, it will pump out 200 watts into a 4 ohm load. 200 times 4 is 800, and the square root of 800 is 28.28 volts. I'm going to hook it up to this generic 12-inch subwoofer, but this thing can only handle 125 watts of power. I'm going to juice it up a little bit, and I'm going to hit it with 150. So I really only want 150 watts coming out of my Rockford Fosgate amp. So 150 watts, 4 ohm load, 150 times 4 is 600. Square root of 600 is 24.5 volts. Now that I know my target voltage, I'm going to hook the amplifier up. Power, ground, remote, RCAs, everything except for the speaker wire. Then I'm going to turn the gain all the way down. Next, set the head unit volume to 75% of its maximum volume. So if my head unit goes up to 63, I can set the volume to 46 or 47. Now this is really important because what we're doing here is a suboptimal way of setting the gains. We really ought to try to find out where the head unit clips in order to do this, but we can't do that with a digital multimeter. So after you set that volume to 75% of its maximum, never go above that number. Don't let a friend borrow your car and go above that number. If you ever go above 75% of the maximum volume, you're gonna blow something. Well, probably not, but better safe than sorry. Now connect your phone to your head unit and run a 40 or a 50 hertz test tone if you're setting up a subwoofer amplifier. If you're setting up an amp for your mids and highs, a thousand hertz test tone will work just fine. Turn the multimeter on and set it to AC voltage. Then connect the multimeter probes to the speaker outputs of your amplifier. Slowly turn up the gain until you hit your target voltage. Sometimes that gain knob can be really sensitive, so you gotta be slow and steady. And hey, if you're getting something useful out of this video, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button so you can catch more videos. When you hit your target voltage, you are done and your gains are set. What about all these knobs here? What do I do with those? Those are your crossover settings. To find out how to set your crossovers, click on this video right here, and I'll see you on the next adventure.